sponsors this morning. It's been another traumatic week on the cobbles for Leanne as she came face to face with Simon's temper once again. Well, having already put her in hospital with his violent outburst, what is Leanne going to do with him? Well, actress Jane Danson will be telling us in just a moment. But first, let's remind ourselves of Simon's track record so far. Look, Si, I know you've lost your mum. And... I didn't lose her. You're the one being childish. She didn't go missing. She died. Get it right. I'm on my own, Simon. And I'm doing my best. Is it any wonder that you're on your own? Who'd want you? Don't speak to me like that. I'm your mother. You don't know, Mum. You just saw me on my dad's slate with. Si, I'm your mum. I... You're not my mum, you dirty prostitute. I'm going to say, before we go any further, um, Alex Bain is lovely. He is lovely. And this goes against everything he is as a, as a person, as a real person. And, um, yeah, he's dealt with his storyline beautifully and really matured as well and really grown as a little actor. I'm really proud of him. Well, she knows full well what he's capable of. Um, and, and it's almost like her hands have been completely tied with this because this is the first time that this violence has gone outside of the family. It feels like she sort of thinks, right, I can cope with this. I, whatever he throws at me, I'll deal with it. I'll cope with it. We'll get through it. But now that it's happened to a teammate, to another kid on his team, it's changed everything. Yeah, I think she's, the last few months, she's really kind of tried to deal with it on her own and make it better and be there for him and support him. And of course, what happens at the football match, this is the end of the line. This is enough is enough. And she's worried that it could escalate and he could do something even more dangerous in the future. So she she needs to step in and, and get it sorted. Big decision, though. Big decision to go to the police. And she, it doesn't sit that well with her, does it? No, because I think Leanne, you know, in the past, we've seen Leanne grow up and we've seen the fact that she wasn't the perfect teenager no. either. So she knows that, you know, she knows how hard it is. And Simon's not had the best up upbringings as Leanne hasn't. So this is the final straw. She says, thinks, I can't do any more. I've tried everything I can to help him and support him and love him but she's kind of got to be cruel to be kind well the so. trouble is that, that she hasn't when she calls the police and they rock up at the door she hasn't had time to tell him yeah so uh, we've got the a clip from uh, from tonight's Corey um, here you okay. go okay I'll get it no I'll get it Sorry, I'll get it hello yeah uh, come up Listen, I, I know that you're really sorry about what happened to Kyle. What's wrong? He must be Simon Barlow. Yeah. I'm PC Saunders, and this is PC Duller. They just need to ask you a few questions. You do think what this is going to do to their relationship? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, they've always been very close. And Leanne, she's made mistakes along the way, but ultimately she loves him and she's tried to support him. But it's come to a point where she feels that her hands are tied and she has to do the right thing and dob him in yeah. <laughs> to the police, which she does. And, of course, this means that their relationship is even more fractured than it was before. Hopefully long-term it will make it better. Yeah, I hope so. And, yeah. uh, you know, also, Leanne's not got a partner at the moment. And historically, Leanne's always had a partner, you know, someone to kind of support. Um, well, you said, you actually said to our team when they when they spoke to you, I'd love to get a new man this year. Yes, please. <laughs> so, well, there was um, there was the football manager, Tom. Who yes, yeah, yeah lovely with. Daniel Casey. We'll see that tonight. Um, yeah, we've, we have a, a sort of a brief flirtation there. Um, but he's a lovely actor. I actually know him. I worked with him years ago, so... So I think we make quite a nice couple as well. So I'm hoping she has some happiness because I think she's at her best when she's got a bit of a, you know, a partner with her. You've, um, with this storyline in particular, you've had a lot of people getting in contact, the viewers of the show that have been going through similar things themselves. Yeah, which really shocked me, actually, because when this storyline was first pitched, I kind of, I wasn't really sure whether I bought it because I thought, 
the Anne Patisipi is quite tough and she's always been a bit gobby and, mm-hmm. you know, would she really take this from a teenager? But then sort of going into the storyline more, you realise that he's never had support. His dad's always dipped in, in and out of his life. And maybe they're the reasons why he's turned out the way he has because of he's not had that, that nurture that he should have had. He lost his mum, lost his grandma. Yeah, he's did, lost a lot of people. Course, so. dad, drink problems. So. Yeah. And we've had, we've had people... Sitting, sitting here, who've done mothers who've done exactly the same thing, got to the stage where thought, "Listen, for, you've got to be cruel to be kind here. I'm going to have to talk oh, to someone." Must be an awful decision. But I've had a lot of reaction on Twitter from people saying, "Oh, I'm really enjoying the story because um, I don't know if enjoying this is the right word, but you know, it's portraying something that does happen, and um, hopefully we, we've done it justice." Are you still loving it? Yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> is it 18 years on and off you've been there? Yeah, yeah, a long wow. time. Where did that time go? I don't know. I don't know. No, I'm very happy. And you say the best thing about it is, uh, is teamwork. Absolutely, yeah. We, I mean, like here, it's a nice family. Um, and then I got to go home to my real family every night. What could be better? So, yeah, yeah, that's the perfect with the boys, with the kids. Yeah, it's like yeah. the perfect situation. They're nine and it? six, aren't they? Yeah, nearly seven. <laughs> yeah, it goes so quick, doesn't it? It really does. It really does. <laughs> it's lovely to see yeah, you. Yeah, lovely. Thank, thank you very you much indeed. Curry tonight, 7.30 on, uh, on ITV, and you'll see the continuation of that story. Thanks. Great, thank you.